Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Thanks for making some time out of your day to watch the video. Much appreciated. Today we are going to review the uh, 1980 Bassmaster Classic edition of Bassmaster Magazine when Bo Dowden won the Bassmasters Classic there at the St. Lawrence River. This is a really good magazine here. I, I remember reading this back in 1980, but I haven't even opened it up to look at it since then. So we're going to thumb through it and sort of reminisce through some history here. I think you guys might enjoy it. Real quick, just wanted to remind you guys, all you late holiday Christmas shoppers, if you guys are interested in a really good gift, Solar Bat has their kit, their four-pack sunglass kit right now. Um, you get four pairs of sunglasses at 50% off. Each pair of sunglasses has a different lens tint for different light conditions. Um, just matches whatever conditions you can have. Like I said, 50% off. You get four pairs of Solar Bat sunglasses. Um, I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out there if you want to get a late, late minute uh, Christmas present there. Much appreciated. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm going to thumb through the magazine here and we're going to step back in time about 45 years. Here we go. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is February 1981, Bassmaster. There's Bo Dowden right there. Uh, jig and pork frog there. Check that out and get in through here. Okay, Viking bass boat, man. Look at that. Not too, I'm not too impressed with that. Not, I don't remember seeing that one there. Adventure tackle box there. Old Mr. Twister ad there. Man. That's my favorite thing. Old Rapala ad right there. Number 11 Rapala. Uh, Late Ray Scott's editorial there. Fly fishing, really, you don't see that too much in a bass, Bassmaster anymore. Look at that there, Minn Kota 65, 23 pounds of thrust. Old Johnson ad again, make that up. Little article on acid rain there, like I said, Bassmaster, big uh, environmental uh, advocate back in the 70s and 80s there. Sea Nymph. Man, you just don't see boats like that anymore. It's actually pretty good looking aluminum. Ryobi Spin Castrill, Bassmaster Magazine. There it is, man. The Rebel Deep We Are, man. I just did a little video last week on that bait. Old school. Very green chocolate. Another old rebel ad there. You know, the, I remember this right here. When these naturalistic lures started coming out in the early 80s, I could never catch any fish on them. You look at things and think they'd be really good, but I never could catch much on those things for some reason. Old Ranger boat ad. Luma Craft boat. Used to see about a lot of aluminum boat ads back then. We'll fully grab there. Burke. Okay, Bassmaster Classic. I tell you guys, this was one of the first. Bassmaster changed their font in 1981 here. I, I wasn't a fan of it. I was a fan of the old format. I really feel that the magazine started going downhill after about 1980 here. Um, I remember reading this, man. I remember thinking how cool. I just wish I was in one of those boats right there so bad at the time. Right, get into the little hummingbird. Look at those flashers. Paper graphs back in 81 there. I couldn't, I didn't remember they came out that earlier. Man, that's all we need right there. If we just, if everybody right there, if that's all we were allowed on the boats today, bass fishing would be a much better world. Uh, Bo Dowden and his wife Ray Scott there. Guido Hebden is in there. Another Ranger ad. Some interviews with some of the guys in the tournament there. Everybody talking about how bad the pike were there, getting bit off by the pike. Now look at that right there, Larry Nixon. He's talking about 
relying on a plastic worm at the St. Lawrence River with slip sinkers. How, when's the last time you heard somebody throwing a Texas rig up at the St. Lawrence River? There's the Bassmasters Classic rig there. They're up on Bo Dowden about winning the tournament. Um, I believe he won that on largemouth. Yeah, he did. I think he caught a six pounder the last day of the tournament and won that thing. Check out that old strand ad there. Bo Dowden, Roland Martin, and Cliff Craft. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I remember that one there. That's the one that Bo Dowden won the tournament on a six pounder. Jig and pork frog. Check that out, man. <laughs> Look at that truck towing that rig at the classic Bassmasters Classic Lane. Now, guys, this was before they had the classics inside. They used to just pull them out just like they did for regular weigh in. Check that truck out, man. Bo Dadden, when he just caught the caught the six pounder. <laughs> Look at this here. Okay, Bo Dowden, Roland Martin, Cliff Craft, Hank Parker, Basil, Larry Nixon, Fight, John Powell, Guido. Man, I didn't think Guido fished. A, oh, yeah, because he won a tournament that year. Clun 15th, Diacker, So Roland. Hmm, that is. Jig and pork frog. Jig and pig. Basil, man. Look at basil there with the mustache. Got only two pieces of equipment my bow to be a pH meter. Man, I love you, basil, but I don't know about that. Rolling, man. I remember reading this. I remember reading this. This was a hour by hour playbook of how Roland's day went the last day of the tournament. That was really cool. I remember reading that. Look at that. Right. Durcraft aluminum. Aluminum boats haven't changed much in the past 40 years. Another Tidecraft ad. Texas Bassers adopt smallmouth. That didn't go over too well, I guess. Eagle trolling motors. Look at that, man. Yellow flip tail worm. Lizard. Fish for a trophy bass in Florida. Man. Phantom 100. Man, I had that reel right there. That was like everybody's dream back then to have a Phantom 100. I remember I got one. Fish with that forever. That's cool. There's uh, Don Worth and Cliff Shelby. They were the people behind Harry and Charlie. Harry and Charlie classic scrapbook. <laughs> Man's Craw George. That never went over very good. <clears throat> The 1980s was when these foil sides came out right there. Again, they didn't catch on too good either for some reason. Trilene dominates Western Bass Tournament of Champions. Look at that. Look at that Mike Tholstead there. Greg Hines, he used to fish all the circuits. <laughs> Missouri's mixed bag. Palm Tear Lake. Bass Champs boat. Baltic minnows. Little scoopers. Seems like towards the end of these magazines, they weren't as good as the front part of them. Old Cytex electronics there. The 
the thermal recorder. Man, why did they come out with all this crap like this? Why can't they just keep it nice, simple depth finder like this and just go, go hogging but spoiling it with everything else? Hottest lakes in Texas. Lake Uchi stone rollering for big bass. 1980 Skeeter team. Who we got here? If I can identify them here. Dave Glebe. Looks like David Wharton. Don't know who that is. Ricky Green. Harold Allen. Jack Haynes. Larry Nixon. Look at Larry there. I can't remember. Hmm. Huh. Zeb collab there. Nice pistol grip. More bombers there. That looks pretty good actually right there. Smiling minnow. Hula popper and jitterbag jitterbugs ads back then still. Cordell ad. Cordell hotspot takes first and second. 1984 to Invitational. Shorty Evans. Huh. Old Mercury Ed. The old action pack, remember those? Bass and outboard power for 81. Charger fishing times. Lake Guerrero. like about it guys here we go guys the uh, january 1981 edition of bassmaster magazine Bo Dowden, uh, bassmaster's classic champion on there hope you guys enjoyed that i've um, got a big pile and stack here we'll go through some are a little bit more interesting than others but i really definitely enjoyed uh, reading that article about Bo and the classic and i enjoyed seeing uh, i enjoy the old ads more than anything out there you know just takes you back to a time when it's just things were a lot more simpler so hope you guys enjoyed it we'll talk later